Okay, now we want to see how this works in Simulink. I'll just give you a brief demo of how that works. First thing you need to do is start Simulink. Um, there's a little icon right here that will start Simulink, or you can just type Simulink into the command window. Uh, what you'll typically get under those circumstances is a blank sheet like this that you can just copy components into, and then we use it to run the simulation. Um, if you don't see it, uh, right away. Uh, what you'll typically need is the library browser. So you go up to view library browser and it brings up this library. Okay, so under Simulink you see there's a an entry for commonly used um, components and then there's some specialized ones, you know, organized by category downhill here. So uh, for example, um, to do the um, forcing term in our oscillator, uh, we have this list of sources and the clock is a source. You just grab the component and drag it into the into the work um, space and there it is. You can drag it around, you can make it bigger, and you can rename it if you want. Uh, this gives us time so I can just call that time. Okay, and so that's supposed to go, um, as I recall, into a gain or, you know, a multiplier. We'll go back to the commonly used area. We're going to need gain. We're going to need integrators, um, but maybe not a right way. And uh, we're going to need those trig things, so I'll go to math operations. and get the trig to do the cosine. All right, so now we'll copy the gain over here and the trig function here. Um, to connect these up, the output of one into the input of another, you just drag a line and drop it. Um, that one didn't catch, there we go. Um, and then uh, to change the name, you can just click on the name and I forget what we wanted. We wanted two here, T here, I think. Okay, but that just changes the name. To change the constant, you right click on the block and you click on game parameters. And it's by default one. If we want it to be two, you just change that to two. Okay. Uh, here, to this was sine. We want cosine. You click trig properties and you grab cosine and there's all these other terms and we say okay so that's basically how um, Simulink works you just build up this whole um, s system you know model for the system like I showed before uh, I'll just call up the original one that I used okay so right here is the source term and here's our differential equation and here's the output um, to run this, we go simulation start, and it'll ding when it's done. And then if you just click on the scope, or double click on the scope, it brings up our graph. Okay, and so this is a chart of X as a function of time, right? Because the scope is connected to this X signal, which is the output of this integrator block. So here's X versus time from 0 to 5 seconds. Um, if you want to solve it longer, you can change this to say 50 seconds. And uh, you can actually click this run button and it runs. And what's a little weird is we um, we get just the first five seconds again. You can right click on that, go to auto scale, and it shows us the full 50 seconds. So there's our simulation. Um, of x as a function of time for 50 seconds. So that's pretty much how it works. Um, good luck with that. I think Simulink is a nice tool for this. It's not ideally set up for solving differential equations, but once you get used to modeling an equation, I think you'll find it to be an interesting solution.